Welcome to ICTTrends.com. I'm Suresh Kanal. Today in this video, I'm going to solve a question from MS Access from Sample Set 8. We have got a question about creating a table and a form with a calculated field uh, in Group C, Database Management, question number 4 and 5 uh, from MS Access. If you have not got this file, these sample sets are available for Gold members and eCourse members to download from ICTTrends.com website. Visit ICTTrends.com and click on the Downloads link at the top. This will take you to the ICTTrends Prepare Downloads page where you will find practical question papers at the bottom. Click on this folder. You will be prompted to enter your username and password. Gold members and eCourse members type your username and password in this box. And click on login. This will take you to the members home page. Uh, gold members go to your gold members home then to the downloads and practical question papers. If you had already logged in into the system the ICT trends would have taken you to this page directly because I was not logged in into the system so it made me log in and display the home page for the members. Well, on the practical question papers uh, page, you will see the two banks. The first one, computer operator practical model question papers, and another, the second bank, practical question papers, second bank. Sample set eight is uh, available on the practical question papers, second bank. Now click this link to download it into your computer, or you can right click the link and choose save link as to get this file into your uh, computer in your specified location. So I've already got this file and let's look at the question that we are going to solve it today. Uh, group C, database management. So we are asked to create a table and name of database is ACC2012 database. So the name of database is given in question. And the name of the table is sales and it should contain sales ID, product ID, sales QTY and sales rate sales quantity and sales rate and in the list of fields sales ID is underlined you should understand that the sales ID is the primary key field for this sales table after you create this table you are asked to create a form to enter record in sales table so you will create a form the form should include prod ID sales QTY sales rate and amount field so from among these four fields from the sales table we require three fields Product ID, sales QTY, and sales rate to include in the form. It might be because sales ID is uh, configured as auto number and user is and user doesn't need to uh, enter value for sales ID. And additionally, we require one field, amount field. This is the calculated field you need to add onto your form, not in the table. So the amount field will show the value as sales QTY asterisk sales rate. So multiply the sales quantity and sales rate, these two fields and the value should be displayed on the amount field in the form when user enters sales quantity and sales rate. Okay, to solve this question, let me start MS Access and I'm showing you the solution in Access 2003. Let me start Microsoft Access 2003. And the question asks, uh, the name of the database should be ACC2012. So in Access, you will go to the right panel on the getting, uh, getting Started panel. You will create a new and blank database. The name of the database should be ACC2012. And I will store this database onto my folder, desktop. This is the folder on my symbol number I created to solve all the questions. So open it. This acc12.mdb file is going to be stored on the folder on my symbol number created on desktop. So click on create. It will create a blank database. This is a database window. Now on this database, I need to create a table named sales. So double click this command, create table in design view. It will open the table design window. Here we need to type the fields required for our sales table. Our first field was sales ID and this field will be auto number. 
and this field is going to be the primary key right click choose primary key then press tab the second field we were asked was product id p r o d i d this product id uh, is a primary key for the product table some other table but here this is a foreign key in the sales table and the field type must be numeric or number uh, you cannot choose it auto number here because a system can provide the numbers uh, serial numbers for the sales id but in case of product id user needs to type which product was sold so this cannot be the auto number field and other field we require on this table is uh, sales quantity and sales rate sales qty it must be in number and sales rate very obviously it will be in currency field type these four were the fields asked to create in table so click close this table one it will prompt you to save the file choose it yes and type the name of the table as sales click it ok so our sales table is created in your database the name of the database is ACC 2012 the first part of the question is solved for one max and number five is create a form to enter record so we are going to create a click on the uh, forms object and you can create the form in design view or using wizard whichever you prefer but creating the form using wizard and modifying it to accommodate your requirement will be easier in our case so let me create the form using wizard so double click this menu create form using wizard it will start a form wizard here on the first step of the form wizard you will choose uh, which fields you require on your form uh, our question doesn't ask us to enter uh, include this sales id so we only require three fields from this sales table they are product id take it into the selected fields group sales qty is highlighted bring it to the right box on the selected fields and sales rate these three fields we selected for our form click it next here you will be asked to choose the layout for your form whether the columnar tabular data sheet justified uh, blah 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 columnar is fine for me click it next and here the style on this step uh, there are different styles given to you you can see it uh, let me choose international or industrial industrial is fine click it next choose any of them you don't waste a lot of time choosing for your style there and here for this form because the question paper doesn't ask you to uh, specify any particular name you name it as uh, frm and sales the name of the form will be frm sales and two options are here at the bottom open form to view or enter information if this much was everything you need you could choose this option and click it finish or if you still need to make some modification on your form design you can choose this radio button modify the forms design because we have to create another one additional field uh, amount in the form so we will modify the forms design and click it finish the form is created and now it is displayed in the design view access has done a lot of work for me I will drag this area a little bit down so that I can draw one field here product ID sales quantity and sales rate these three fields are already included in the form now let me create the fourth field amount field to do this you pick the text box field click it to choose this tool and draw a field onto your form like this is the field for amount uh, on the left this is the label for the field and sorry let me close it and it's displaying text 6 right now when your mouse pointer is i beam inside this label box you double click it to select the text there and uh, type the text you want to display in my case it is amount so the label will be amount and inside this text box double click when your mouse pointer is i beam uh, it will come the insertion point will appear inside the 
box here you will enter the formula or the record source type your equals to we need to display the value of sales quantity into sales rate inside this amount box so equals to s a l e s q t y sales quantity multiplied with sales rate and click it outside the form this amount let me while dragging fields in the design window uh, note your mouse pointer the shape of your mouse pointer and different handles on the boxes for example right now is the normal mouse pointer is okay when you put your mouse pointer just on the handles it will change the double headed arrow in the corner double headed arrow horizontal this is double headed arrow vertical so if your mouse pointer is on any of these handles and you click and drag it will change the size of the box and on the corner it will change the width and height of the box if your mouse pointer is a black small hand shape which appears when you point to the borderline of the field it will move the fields on the form look at there the fields both the fields amount and sales quantity and this label and the text box both moves when you move it when your mouse pointer is a hand shape and if you if you point to this box at the corner and drag it only the selected box will move not both only the level will move from here and if you drag it from here only the text box will move okay this is what I needed for my additional field it's a little bit height is a little bit more i guess mm, yeah okay now so after this uh, after you complete modifying the form you can see the result by switching to the form view to switch to the form view you can use the view button on the toolbar or open the list and choose the suitable view or you can right click on the title bar of the form and choose on which view you want to switch and if you go to the form view click on the form view so this is the uh, form we have created so product id let me enter a few data for you 1001 is a product id if it was sales quantity 25 pieces were purchased and rate was 354 for each item and the amount is calculated automatically 8850 so press tab for ID 1002 product was purchased and 200 pieces were was sold and rate is uh, 100 rupees each then automatically it is 20,000 so this way you can create the form including the calculated field in the form uh, okay so the database management question number four and question number five the amount field will show the value sales quantity in the sales rate when you enter sales quantity. So finish. This was all you were asked to do for these four marks of MS Access, creating a table and a form. Now that's all for a solution of this question. And don't forget to follow icttrends.com to prepare your examination. Remember the web address is www.icttrends.com. Icttrends dot com don't forget to comment on the posts after you read it and if you really like it if you think it's useful let your friends know it uh, thank you for watching this video